What's going on everybody? I've been getting a ton of questions regarding this strat that I recently put together and mostly about how the angled pickup really affects the tone or if it affects the tone. So I decided to just do a little shootout video using the same pickup, different pick guards, but everything else is the same. Um, as you can see, this one is angled here and then I had another like Tom DeLong style pick guard lying around that had the straight route. And there's a slight difference to these. What you'll notice is this bass side, meaning like the lower side of the strings is up pretty high. You know, it's stuck up a bit higher, but the treble side is more or less flush. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, it's up just a little bit more. So, if you know guitars, you know that <clears throat> that will alter the sound just a little bit because anything that's really close to the bridge itself, there's a lot more tension to the string there, which kind of adds a bit of brightness, adds tightness to you know your palm muting parts and stuff like that. So when you move the pickup up, you kind of lose a little bit of that tightness, you lose a little bit of the brightness and it just kind of gives you a little bit warmer and a little looser of a feel if that makes any sense so when you're doing you know like your heavy palm muting on those lower strings it's not going to sound you know as grinding i guess it depends on the pickup you're using but it's going to sound yeah just not as tight really um and on those higher strings you know if you're doing like a higher you know picking parts, say you're playing M&Ms by Blink-182 or something, um, by moving it up just that slightest bit, you're gonna notice it's a little less shrill, a little less, you know, super bright. And some people like that. You know, I personally prefer the pickup in the regular position because I like having that tighter, that tighter sort of low end. But if anything, I wouldn't mind having the, uh, the highs tamed a little bit and, you know, kind of, less bright so i mean if anything i would honestly consider trying swapping it around the other way um now i'm not sure who first did this but i know a very big person was eddie van halen maybe he was the first i'm not sure but basically back in the day there were gibson guitars you know with your p90s and your humbuckers and then you had fender guitars you know and other brands but a lot of people wanted to play Fender style guitars because they were a lot more comfortable, a lot more lightweight, but they wanted the sound of a Gibson. You know, they wanted that humbucker. They didn't want like a stratty kind of sound. So they would take a humbucker out of a Gibson like this. This is the pickup that was in here originally, but I swapped it out for a Seymour Duncan JB. Um, you take a pickup like this and you'll notice when you put it in there, you know, if you, if you set it in straight, at least for these original Gibson style pickups, the spacing of the poles, which are, you know, the screws here, it's slightly narrower than on a fender bridge or a typical fender bridge. And that makes it so the strings aren't going perfectly over those pole pieces. And you can definitely play a guitar without it going over those pull pieces. I've done it a hundred times, but you know, Eddie Van Halen back in the day wanted to have at least the string going over one of the pull pieces, you know, at least like on the bottom one here. So by angling that pickup, you get this first string over the bottom pull piece, the screw pull piece, and then you get this high E going over the top of the, uh, the set one, the non-adjustable pole. So it was kind of like a, you know, compensating, you know, just making it work as best as possible. But like I said, you know, you can definitely play it without having the poles, you know, perfectly lined up. A lot of people think it's an aesthetic thing. Some people really believe that you get the best sort of string to string, like, I don't know what the word I'm thinking of, like resonance or string to string, like evenness in tone because, you know, it, the pickup is picking it up evenly. 
Um, so I want to do this comparison because, you know, Billy Joe did this back in the day and, you know, tons of people are like, well, I need to know the difference because, you know, I'm thinking of doing it for a build for myself. And, you know, I totally get that. You know, I love the way it looks. I think it's really cool. But, you know, I like the original weight as well. And um, there is a slight tone difference, but I'd say most beginners probably won't notice too much of a difference. It's something that, you know, once you develop an ear for this sort of thing, you do start to notice after a while. Um, and, you know, even Eddie Van Halen switched back to, you know, the straight pickups after a while. You know, his signature Wolfgang guitars, those all have straight pickups. He's not doing the angled pickups anymore. So, I mean, there's something to be said there. I mean, maybe he was just doing it because he was just making it work at the time. You know, he had that wider string bridge and just wanted that pickup. But now these days you can get a narrow spaced bridge or you can even get pickups that have a wider pole spacing to fit those kind of fender bridges. So, I mean, there's a lot of different ways you can go about it. Neither way is really a wrong way. You know, this is certainly a really cool way to go about it. It definitely does alter the tone as as much as I really didn't think it was going to. It's minor, but it is there. And hopefully you guys hear the difference. Hopefully you can hear how close I'm trying to get, you know, with the Billy Joe Armstrong kind of tone that I'm working with that I'll be doing more covers on and stuff like that. So if you have any questions at all, let me know. I will be selling this guitar fairly soon. As is, I'm not changing the pickup anymore. This is uh, the Seymour Duncan JB. Um, it's got, you know, roasted neck, which is really cool. Warmoth hardtail body, super cool guitar. And um, yeah, hope you guys dig it. Like I said, any questions, let me know. I'll see you guys later and enjoy the demo. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 